So a few months ago I had purchased this uh, Poxag encoder transmitter from this uh, Taiwanese company. Uh, they sell these devices uh, pre-synthesized at a certain batch of frequencies. Uh, this one particular device is uh, pre-synthesized to 433.920 megahertz. You could um, you could modify the f modify the frequency within the limits of the batch uh, through their setup program. Uh, this one does a maximum of seven watts, um, and it works really well. So I was hoping today I could do a, a simple video of um, how to connect up the cables with these devices and a p with a PC uh, and a an antenna and then uh, send a few test page messages uh, to the paging uh, device which I had also purchased from the same uh, vendor uh, and which is uh, this one here so it's a uh, it's a, a simple four line alphanumeric pager um, from the same company now this one here, um, I think I paid forty dollars, which I thought quite expensive. Uh, you can get a pretty decent pager on eBay for whatever twenty, twenty-five bucks. But this one, I I had to buy this one because um, this kind of works with uh, the uh, the transmitter uh, really well uh, at the same frequency. So anyway, so I thought I'd do a quick uh, video of that um, and we can uh, get started. On the rear side of the, um, the transmitter, uh, there are a few ports. Basically, there's a USB port, as you can tell at the far left. That's the port used for programming this device. So you can configure it using a simple USB cable. And then the uh, RS-232 port is used for sending. Uh, messages from your um, PC or whatever uh, device that's uh, serial capable uh, and then uh, you have a an Ethernet port for managing the, this device over over the internet and then of course a 12 volt uh, 1 amp power, 1 amp uh, power supply on the front of this device there is a um, a BNC uh, antenna port that you can hook up your antenna to um, and I got this antenna from uh, on eBay it's it's nothing more than a flimsy little uh, magnetic base device uh, from eBay uh, it's got a BNC connector to it I use this antenna just for testing purposes so basically you can uh, hook it up uh, to the transmitter uh, make the needed connections to your PC and then you're all set to go to uh, experiment. Let me do a quick uh, connection of these wires with my laptop uh, and I'll be right back. So that's a pager, it's uh, powered up. That's how, that's what you see when you first power it on. Shows your time, your name, what frequency it's operating on, etc. Uh, I thought that information is useful and handy. So basically, I hooked up the um, um, the RS-232 serial to USB uh, cable to my PC and the power supply. And on the front, the antenna is hooked up to the BNC port. Uh, that's pretty much it. So it's a fairly straightforward. Uh, connection of cables. So what, what is POXAG? POXAG is a, a protocol that was uh, first coined I believe somewhere in the UK. Uh, it's, it stands for Post Office Code Standardization Advisory Group POXAG. So it's basically a protocol that you would use uh, for sending uh, pages, uh, short message pages over the air uh, to endpoints like these uh, uh, page receiving devices like pagers. So, uh, so we're going to take a look at a quick uh, way to send a, a message to the pager using our good old PuTTY uh, software. Give me a second. So I have my PuTTY pulled up here. I'm going to launch the 
item that's uh, pre-configured earlier uh, for this Taiwanese uh, Parkside uh, encoder transmitter. Um, and here is the um, the terminal and basically if you look at uh, the terminal it's nothing fancy you basically type in a one-line command uh, with a few settings and then once you type in the command and hit send uh, PuTTY would send that message over the USB to, uh, to serial port on the, transco on the uh, encoder transmitter of the PARCSAG device and then you will be able to see the message on your pager now the format uh, that uh, that this uh, follows is uh, this format here. It stands for um, it's a one-line message you would send over serial. Uh, A stands for alphanumeric. Uh, F stands for the 1200 BPS, the speed at which the PAXAG, um transmitter encoder works. Uh, the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, the seven digit code there, that's what's called the CAP code. Um, again, if you want to learn more about PACSAC, there's tons of documents available. I'll make a few references to these documents in the YouTube uh, posting once I have it up there. <clears throat> they will also be available in my, um, in my blog at n0agi.com. And then lastly, uh, there's a, a letter D that stands for the tone designator. Uh, in this case, it's uh, just just understand and know that it's for tone, that you want the pager to make a tone once you send it, or once it receives it, rather. And then last but not least, uh, the actual message you want to send uh, to the pager. So we are, we're going to basically type this one-liner into our putty uh, and go from there. So let me uh, repower the uh, transmitter. Um, you should see that text message show up like so. That's the boot up message or whatever. So let me type it up. A for alphanumeric. F for 1200 uh, BPS. The cap code is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Followed by uh, the letter D for tone. And then finally the message. Let's say hello from and zero A G I. Okay. Then when I hit enter, uh, that goes through your USB to serial uh, to the transmitter. The transmitter sends it off to the um, uh, to the pager. So let me quickly uh, hit enter. You should hear a short beep from the transmitter, indicative of that it's transmitting the message and then you should see a tone come out of the pager once a pager uh, receives that message and it should display that so let me hit enter quickly and watch out for the tones there we go so that's the message I just sent uh, hello from Nagi or N0 AGI that's the time and date when it received the message so again nothing fancy it's very straightforward the device works really well uh, given that it only operates at uh, 7 watts maximum you could potentially attach an amp to it uh, and uh, get a, a better range uh, on the reception or the transmission rather uh, from the uh, transmitter now let's try this one more time again um, let's go back to putty and let's type in um, again A F one two three four five six seven. Again, the cap codes can be programmed on your pager uh, and let it know which cap codes that it should respond to. Uh, and then you can program all that using the programming software you get from uh, the vendor. Um, so anyway, so let's say D uh, testing. Hello, world. Okay, so before I hit enter, let me turn it back onto the pager and uh, let me hit enter now. There we go. That's a simple message. Okay, now so we looked at uh, putty and how simple it is to basically send, issue that 
one line command uh, to the transcoder or other encoder transmitter. Um, let's see a quick example of how do you how you do this programmatically using C sharp uh, as a programming language uh, and using Visual Studio. So let me power up Visual Studio. I'll be right back. So I have my Visual Studio powered up here. Again, this is a very simple application. It's just a standard C sharp basic console application. Uh, so here's a quick walkthrough of the source code. Basically, you you make sure you pull in the uh, the required namespaces into your code. Uh, I think uh, the most important thing for this particular example is the system at io dot ports. Make sure you pull that namespace into your code, um, and then and then in your in your code, basically the way it works is. Uh, in the main uh, section, you set up your COM port for your serial port object. In this case, I just call it um, S. You, you can call it whatever you want. So S is the new serial port, as you can tell here uh, in this line of code. Uh, and then I'm setting its uh, COM port, its parity, baud rate, um, and this baud rate again is the baud rate from the PC to the, uh, the transmitter. It's not the transmitter to RF baud rate. That's 1200, which we will define in the message as we saw earlier. But this baud rate is between PC and the transmitter. Okay. Uh, finally, uh, you open the serial port, and if it's open, uh, we are going to be uh, sending the uh, the message to the uh, transmitter. So basically, what we are saying here is, hey, check if it's open, uh, and then basically it'll wait for you to press enter. Uh, in the read line and then it prepares a send string. Again, as you can tell, we are preparing a string object with a certain format. The format is fairly straightforward like we talked about. A4 alphanumeric, F4 uh, 1200 BPS, uh, that's a cap code, uh, D for the tone, uh, and then that's the, um, the replacing parameter for the text we're going to send. In this case, that curly braces 0 will be replaced by hello from N0 AGI in C sharp message over there and then you terminate the string with a uh, backslash R okay and then you basically write that message to the serial port object once that's completed you should be able to see the message go up on the air and uh, let's run the zap F5 as you can tell press enter so I'll go ahead and hit enter and then, as you can tell, uh, the page had just got the message. Um, Hello from N0 AGI in C Sharp. Uh, so let's do it again. Uh, it's waiting for me to press Enter again. And I'll press Enter, and then you can take a look at the message again. Okay. There we go. But let's suppose you want to have a VHF. Uh, pager obviously this transmitter will not work for it right because it's a it's operating at the UHF frequency you can use Cantronics KPC 9612 plus that comes with a firmware that already has a POXAG shell into it so you could actually transmit POXAG encoded messages with 7 watts the maximum you would probably get with a line of sight is probably three miles, three to four miles max. But if you hooked up this antenna with a Comet GP9, the one I have upon my rooftop, I actually got a 25 mile radius, uh, which was pretty slick. Uh, I didn't expect that to happen. I programmed the C Sharp application to send a beacon once every whatever five minutes. I was able to receive these pages for up to 25 miles radius, I think it was. But anyways, I thought I'd do a quick uh, video. Um, again, again, nothing fancy. Uh, I'm gonna be integrating this uh, application into my other projects. Uh, we'll talk soon, and uh, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.